Wickety wickety whack, it's your boy Mac coming at you with another tutorial from me to you because that's just what I do. And today I'll be teaching you how to use some GarageBand. So, first off, you have to open GarageBand. Uh, let's do a new project. Um, actually, that's just pointless to show you that. Just open a new project. So, here we go. Um, First off, you want to start. You want to go to track up here and uh, go click new track. Uh, I prefer software instrument. That's just this is the preference there. And you get all these options of uh, different instruments that they have in stock for you to use. So let's just try bass real quick. Uh, doesn't really matter. So once you have it selected, or it doesn't matter which one you pick. So. Um, once you have whichever one you picked, you click Command K and this pops up. I prefer to use this uh, by clicking just alternate. So obviously the buttons tell you which ones do which sounds. And if you want to record it, you click the record button here like so. Okay, so then you click it again, it stops it, and you can play it back to your liking. So you see, and if you wanted to loop it, you put the arrow on the top corner right here where it gets a little loop, and you pull it, and it just repeats it over and over again. Something else that you can do, let's just delete this, and, um, you could go to drum kit, perhaps click hip hop drums and then with this ah rock drums is better of course with this you can drop some sick beats just and you could go on the microphone tool and obviously rap so like yo it's Mac Berg with another tutorial using GarageBand like a pro for real like that. And if you wanted to record it, obviously it's the same thing. Stop it. Play back your beat. And rap over it however you would like. So that's how to use the keyboard, how to record, how to play back in GarageBand. Thank you very much.